Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the length of this square A, B, C, D. And moreover, we have these line segments that are perpendicular to each other as you can see in this figure. And the length of this line segment is 4, the other one is 1, and this one is 3. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let's label the points. I'm going to label this point E and this point F. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And in this diagram, we can see that our EF, this segment is one as we can see over here and then the line segment df is four units and finally this line segment eb is three as you can see over here now let's go ahead and focus on this diagram and here is our goal we want to move this line segments ef to somewhere B, P over a P is some point P over here such that this line segment equal to this line segment and they are also parallel. To achieve that task, let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from point P somewhere here, point P is here onto this line segment EB. Let's go ahead and draw that one. And this is, since it's a perpendicular, it's 90 degree angle. And now we are going to connect this point F and this point P. Let me bear, be very careful. I'm not an artist. Just please bear with me. And here this one. And now we are going to connect this point B and this point D very carefully as you can see over here. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's focus on this rectangle B, E, F, P. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. So that means these opposite sides E, F, and B, P are equal in length and they are parallel as well. And moreover, this side E, B is equal to the side, this one, F, P. And once again, they are parallel as well. And we know that this line segment E, F is one unit, that means this BP is going to become one as well. And this EB is three units. So that means this FP is going to become three units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this line segment DF, which is four units. We know that one. And also look at this line segment F. P, which is three units. So we can see that this whole line segment DP is going to be the sum of this four plus three. We're going to add them. So thus our line segment DP is going to be four plus three. So DP turns out to be seven. So thus this line segment DP is seven units. And here is our much nicer looking figure. And now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle, right triangle BPD. And we can see that BP is one unit and DP, this one is seven. And we need to find the value of this side BD. This is unknown. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. 
And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. So in our case, this side bp, I'm going to call this side a, this dp, I'm going to call this side b, and this longest leg, I'm going to call this side c, and we are going to calculate the value of this side. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. Let's fill in the blanks. a in our case is 1, 1 squared, plus b our case is 7, so we become 7 squared equal to c squared. So that's going to give us 1 plus 49 equal to c squared. So that means c squared is going to be 50. Let's take the square root to undo this square so that means c value equal to square root of 50 so that means this side bd it turns out to be square root of 50. thus our this side bd is square root of 50. And this square root of 50 could be simplified as 5 times square root of 2. So therefore I can write down 5 times square root of 2. And now we know that this a, b, c, d is a square. And here's the definition of a square. In this one all sides have equal lengths. That means this side, this side, all these sides have equal lengths and moreover the interior angles each of them is 90 degrees and here is our final step let's focus on this triangle a b d and we know that this is a right triangle and we also know that this a b equals to a d so therefore this represents a special triangle as you can see in this figure since these two legs are same as in our case then this hypotenuse is going to be a times square root of 2 and in our case our hypotenuse is 5 times square root of 2 that means this side is going to be 5 units and this side is going to be 5 units as well and here I am sharing with you a different method as well by using the Pythagorean theorem as you can see in this figure so the length of the side of the square a b c d turns out to be 5 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.